I do want to add something that we're doing with this all-star group. We are promoting the same thing we were promoting last year, you know, good sportsmanship, being responsible, taking care of grades and all that stuff. But one thing that we, uh, we are doing this year is we're, we're trying to make some lifestyle contribution by exposing them to something that we all do every single day, multiple times a day, and that is eating healthy. I know a lot of these kids, you know, they're kids. They have a lot of energy. They, they can eat whatever, but sooner or later, life catches up and all of a sudden, you know, you got, you got some extra weight on you. And I thought it was pretty cool that we introduced them to something called a meal prep diet through our partnership with Feel Good. It's hard to be disciplined and eat healthy, but it's also very hard to be unhealthy and, and not able to be mobile and work out. So pick your heart, which which heart do you want, right? And so we're trying to get the kids to, to make the, the right choice. Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing, weightsandbars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. Ike's Love and Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every single time. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Fuel Good, fueling your success. Conveniently located in Santa Clara off Homestead Road. For more info, go to fuelgoodmealprep.com. Oh, there he is. What's up, Vinny? I cannot hear you. Your audio is not working. There we go. I was on mute. How's it going, Al? Um, it's going good, man. It, it looks like you're at a beach somewhere in Florida. What's going on in the background? I'm in La Jolla. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's I'm, I'm back and forth. So I live in La Jolla and I'm back in the Bay every once in a while. So that's why I wasn't. I wasn't there to drop off the meals at, at the all-star uh, practice, which uh, I'll be, I'm excited to see those guys uh, at the all-star game. I mean, I'm seeing yeah. those clips. Those big, like I was talking about you earlier. We got, we got some talent. We got some talent. And uh, one of the things that we wanted to concentrate on is just, just promote good things, you know, uh, and what you guys do, what you provide, the product that you, you make is, is one of those, is, is something that we definitely want to promote to these guys because I, I I believe that it's something that is not just temporary it's it's something that could be permanent you know we want these guys to live a healthy life absolutely that's kind of that's kind of our idea Alf is is building that foundation right at an at a young age because you know we we you know me being being an athlete uh you know my other partner being an athlete we realized, you know, as in high school, grammar school, college, we're eating all the wrong things. No one's telling us really what to eat, what not to eat. So you don't know what you don't know. So I'm eating cookies before my high school practice. And then I'm going to 7-Eleven after practice to wash it down. And it's like, what am I doing? Right. How am I going to be an elite athlete? Um, you know, if I'm doing those things. So I figured it took me a while to figure out after playing at, at, a, at a high level and you know would it have been beneficial to know that while I was playing absolutely um, but what the most beneficial thing is is my lifestyle now right I'm eating healthy now I'm doing all the right things now and as you get older you can't uh, you can't be your, your metabolism metabolism's not as fast as it as what it used to be you can't be eating the sugar and, and that type of thing and, and you end up being you know unhealthy and, and overweight and I, I see a lot of my um, old college teammates and high school teammates and they're unrecognizable and, and I'm I think food and nutrition really solves that problem um, and so you know like what you're doing building that foundation with with these kids and, and good kids in the community and and I think that's why our partnership really aligns with each other so well is we're really looking after for these kids to to kind of give them a big step forward um, you know, in life, but also as athletes, right? You know, less cramping, no seed oils, no sugar. Um, and that's kind of where our partnership has really, you know, done well. Um, I'm just, I just want to make sure like the viewers know, whoever's watching this, um, 
can you give us a little bit of a background about Feel Good and how it came about, you know, and and basically what the what the what's the vision for the future? Yeah, so um, Feel Good started. Uh, I love the name, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Feel Good um, started in 2020, and the idea was to just promote healthy eating. Um, and then at some point it clicked to me that I wasn't eating healthy back when I was younger. I eat healthy now. And that's why I wanted to start the meal prep company to kind of demonstrate how you should be eating. But I look back at the younger version of myself and I just realized, Hey, you know, I didn't have, uh, anyone telling me what I should be eating, why I should be eating it and what to actually eat. And so here comes feel good, right? So we kind of switched and started going towards um, youth athletes. So we, you know, we partner with the Anza Force um, the club team that I used to play for soccer and, and we drop off like you guys did for your first practice, that meal, that recovery meal that we have, um, you know, from a nutritionist that says you should be eating this, this, and this after a practice to help with recovery, inflammation, um, to help you perform, you know, going on to the next days, uh, going forward. And so that's kind of our, um, model is, is helping youth athletes. Yes. We want everyone eating healthy, but we're really targeting the youth market. Um, because that's where our hearts align with. Um, and so we partner with Deanza. We're, we're working with a couple teams down in San Diego. We could be opening up a, a store shortly here in San Diego, partnering with a, um, club team down here. And basically what we do is we drop off meals after practice or um, which are recovery meals uh, for the kids to eat at De Anza. And then we also have, you know, performance packs, which are meals you should be eating before games, which we did with uh, Archbishop Mitty, um, the football team, and, and hopefully to work uh, with the rest of their athletic department. Um, but that's the main thing for us is really to help athletes perform at the highest level they can. And then with that, it's instilling those habits of eating healthy so they can carry it on to the rest of their lives. Yeah, no, absolutely. So I'm, I'm going to bring up a kind of like a, a, a very, very common thing that happens. I went through it. My buddies from high school went through it. You, you kind of mentioned it already. There's this thing called the freshman 20, right? After you get out of <laughs> oh, yeah. high school. Absolutely. And I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to prevent that for a lot of you guys out there. And girls, yes. and girls. Yes, absolutely. I mean, and that, and all that is, is eating habits, right? You go to college, you don't have parents anymore that are putting food on your plate. You're an 18 year old kid. You have no idea what you should be eating or why you should be eating anything. You're going to fail, right? And that's why there is that freshman 15, freshman 20. It's not 20 pounds of muscle. Uh, I wish it was, but if you're, you know, if you're eating healthy and you're eating the right stuff, you could put that 20 pounds on of muscle, but the reality is, is if you if you're not putting in the you know the proper fuel into your body, just like a car, you're gonna break down. It's a matter of time you're gonna break down. And so again, instilling this at, into the kids at a young age will prevent this freshman fifteen. And then when you're out of college, you know that that weight gain and, and those injuries and because it's uh you know it's hard to be disciplined and eat healthy, but it's also very hard to be unhealthy and, and not able to be mobile and work out. So pick your hard, which, which hard do you want? Right. And so we're trying to, um, you know, get the kids to, to make the, the right choice. We love, we love Seven Eleven, We love Panda Express. We, you know, we love Chipotle, but the reality is, is they all have, you know, seed oils, inflammatories, sugar, it's not the right choice. So uh, when we can stat, when we can teach these kids to to eat uh, based on you know needs and performance versus you know taste, which um, is not always easy. That's why we smoke our meats, right? Because we want to we want it to taste good too. Because I I love food. I can't just put things down and chase it down with water. I want to enjoy it too. And that's kind of uh, what we've able to figure out with Feel Good. So it's kind of um, it's been it's been very popular with these kids and it's growing and, and um, the more kids we can help. Um, and that's why I love partnering with you guys and what you guys are doing. Uh, 
the better the better it is for for us the happier we are and, and i'm sure it's the same with you guys because what what you guys are doing you know um giving these kids an opportunity to play you know one last game and and you know you were talking to me earlier on the phone you, you had mentioned how you were telling me hey, this might be the last time you get you know wear a helmet and, and be a part of a football team and me looking back on on being an athlete the you know values that i learned you know teamwork competitive uh, resilience, all those things ultimately got to me to where I'm at today. And so like you kind of iter- reiterating to these kids, like enjoy the moment because this mm-hmm. might be your last moment. And, uh, you know, it's probably something that, you know, Joey, who, who you were on the phone with earlier, he still remembers the all-star game he was at. Right. So it's like yeah. these, uh, and, and that was, you know, 10 years ago. So, um, you know, what you guys are doing is special and, and I'm, I'm just happy to, to, you know, be a part of it with you and help to grow, you know, you guys at, and, and ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so what, one of the, one of the questions, there's, there's a couple of questions that usually pops up when I, when I mention you guys and number one is the cost, but I don't want to, I don't want to get into that yet. You know, I, I think we should go into this question about, if you're an athlete and you're in, you're like an average athlete, um, how much food do you really need to maintain your whatever, like how you are, yeah, you know? Right. Because I think there's a, there's a thing where you like, you, you have to eat a lot. Like my son, he thinks he needs to eat like every two hours. And I'm like, dude, you don't have to do that. Eat quality yeah. versus quantity. Uh, but I don't know. I, I just want to hear it from you. Uh, what what would you say about that? Yeah, so we, you know, we, um, you know, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist, but we do have a, a sports dietitian on our, on our, you know, team. Um, and she was with UFC and then with the LA Galaxy. And so, um, you know, she um always talks about you know she's got her and we've done presentations uh, for the kids it's something we do um with the youth athletes uh, in the clubs as we have presentation that she kind of goes through and kind of explains what they should be eating and whatnot um but it ultimately comes down to you know your your output of you know how much you're working out uh male female how much you weigh uh what you're trying to do you're trying to gain muscle you know lose fat all that um it, it's really tailored to that specific athlete because there's a wide range, right? You got offensive linemen that are, you know, 280 pounds, and then you got, you know, a cornerback that's 150. They both shouldn't be eating the same thing, right? And so where do they go to get that advice? You know, that's that's kind of the um, bridge we're trying to solve. And, and that gap is uh, is come to us and, and we'll help you. We'll kind of, we'll set you up and we'll, we'll, we'll put you on a, a plan to help you succeed and, and, be doing what you should actually be doing right because you know for example your son is he's not a sports dietitian he's not a nutritionist right like i'm not yeah so it's so it's let's let's and that's one of the things that i really you know um pride myself on is i don't know everything but i know where to find the answers and i'll go seek that out and get those answers and so um as a kid i i didn't do that uh, and that's why I'm just like, let's just go give it to them um, and, and kind of give them the answers um, to what they need, because it's not cookie cutter, right? We're all different. You know, you, it's something where you got to try things out. And that's what one thing that stuck out to me um, when our nutritionist was talking to Deanza was uh, try things out in practice. So tr- to have a routine. If you eat at this time before practice, if you eat this meal, see how it felt after practice. Did you have a good practice? Did you have energy? Uh, You know, were you hungry during practice? And then once you get that dialed in, just copy and paste it to the game, right? So there's no mysteries during the game. You never try something out new before a game because you don't know what's going to happen, right? So if your body's performing well during practice because you're doing A, B, and C, well, do A, B, and C during the game. And if, if B's not working, well, you can adjust it, switch it out. So that was one of the things that stuck out to me, which no one told me. And I had cramps all the time in high school and college. I always get the side mm-hmm. cramp, never knew what it was, never knew what, what I should be doing. No one could give me an answer. 
um, you know, if I were to talk to Nicole, who's our sports dietitian, she would have given me the answer right away. And, and I would have tried something new. Um, and then ultimately wouldn't be cramping. So um, that's, something that, you know, she uh, said to those kids that really stuck out to me, um, which uh, it's nice because she can say it. And then we also have something to back it up, like have this, have this, uh, you know, tangible meal instead of just saying it, most of the kids just don't do it right. Anytime you have a, when I was in college, we had a nutritionist come in and, and talk, said all the things we should be eating, not eating in one ear, out the other. Cause I had nothing tangible to just go get. I had the cafeteria food, which was not, was not healthy at all. So yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's, I think that's I've... kind of that. I think uh, the w one of the other mm -hmm. common question or statement or answer when I when I talk to parents, especially, is like, "Well, isn't that expensive?" And I, I I'll I'll give my answer because I'm a parent of an athlete. Uh, I think I'm healthy. I I feel good. I you know I I, I think I do a pretty good job. As you look good, Al. <laughs> um. So when we did the camp, right? We we were able to take a couple. Manalo had one. I had one uh, with us home and and ate it afterwards. And you know, it was it it was healthy. It was very healthy. Now two days later, I was working. He was getting out of practice. Picked him up. I just felt like, dude, I'm not gonna cook, man. Let's just go get something. So we we actually live now pretty close to uh, Jack in the Box. <laughs> oh, Al. Hey man, uh -oh. I was like, okay, fine, let's just go to Jack in the Box. And you know, Jack in the Box, I'm not gonna give them a free publicity, but they got the two two <laughs> the one one twenty. It used to be a dollar, but it's two for one deal for their tacos. And I don't know how many we got, but we got enough for both of us. I don't even look at the price. I just give my card and all that stuff. Just drive through late night, eleven thirty. We ate. Yeah. We're sitting there and he came across the post from two days uh, earlier. And he was like, man, I don't know, dad. I think we just violated our own message. <laughs> I was That's like, yeah. Deal. And then I looked at my car and I was like, we paid $48 for a couple of jumbo, for a couple of meals and mm -hmm. a I had to get the cheesecake, man. I had to get the cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, I was like, man, yeah, 45. That's that's four fuel goods or something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we're right, we're right in line with we're right in line with Chipotle and Panda Express as far as pricing goes. Um, but <sighs> there is no price tag on health. Al. Yes. There's no price tag on health. We we do want to you know we use quality meats which does you know uh it does cost more for us but that's okay with us because we would rather put out a product that we're proud of and we know that is good quality versus you know a jack-in-the-box i don't even know if you're eating meat is the reality of it because if yeah. you're gonna and i didn't know this until i got into the the food industry that there's just different cuts and grades of things and mm -hmm. If you're going to charge a dollar for a taco for you to make money off it, I know that, you know, you're basically not even using, you know, real meat. So, oh. um, yeah. So, so as, as much as it tastes great because of all those, you know, artificial things, it's just, uh, it's not yeah. what your buddy body wants and it's not what your body needs. However, it was convenient for you. Right. And so that is the other problem that we're trying to solve is how can we be convenient so that, Alf doesn't go to Jack in the Box at 11.30 at night because he needs something quick. He doesn't want to cook. Yes. He doesn't want to eat. And that's kind of why we are doing this after practice uh, drop-off because the kids are getting done at 7.30, 8.30, 9 at night. No parent wants to cook. I know my parents weren't cooking, and I was I was lucky if there was you know leftovers at that point. I had three other kids in my family, uh, siblings. So if I was able to get food, great. But I was mostly having you know cereal at the end of the night after practice, like what, it, what, what is that? But it's convenient and it's easy. So um, that's the other challenge that we were, you know, uh, trying to make ourselves convenient for the parents. So, hey, you don't have to cook. 
You don't have to drive anywhere. We're dropping off the meal to your kid after practice when they should be eating in that 30 minute window. We're checking every single box for you in order to have your kid succeed in on the field and then off the field when, when they're out of college and you're not watching them, you can be, uh, you know, rest assured that they are, have these, uh, you know, good eating habits engraved into their heads. Right. So, yeah. you know, you're, you're a, you're a product of your environment, you know, you're a creature of your habit. So if you do something over and over and over again, you stop thinking about it. Right. I'm not thinking that I'm breathing right now. I'm just breathing. So, uh, that's kind of the, I guess the answer for, for the, for the pricing we're right yeah. in, we're right in line with all those other ones. And we, we are high quality. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I believe in what you guys are doing. And I also believe that we shouldn't just do this right here, right now. We need to be consistent with preaching this message. So what I would like to do is just kind of connect maybe like every other week or something. Um, and maybe we can come up with a, a shorter version where we just like discuss like a certain topic. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because I do believe like with, 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 with the families that are involved with us and, and um, you know, watching our stuff, Hey, we're, we're getting Insta famous, man. We're, we're starting to, we're starting to get, we're starting to grow. <laughs> you guys you guys That's our goal in life. Me and coach Andrew, you know, no, I'm just kidding about that. No, but yeah, really, like, I feel like a lot more people are interacting and I'm getting a lot of questions, you know, about recruiting and all kinds of things. And and this is one of the areas that I would get a, a question about. And so I want to be ready to just, boom, send them a link. Here you go. This uh, go to four mm -hmm. minutes and 35 seconds. There's your answer. Kind of like mm -hmm. a, a ready uh, Q&A or FAQ uh, section video wise because i feel like people learn better when they hear and see things and and also i, I we want to see the people behind the product and that's right. what i really like when when i saw you guys you guys were right away you got back to me went to the store you know vinny's a cool dude and you know we, my son goes to the store and gets his meal and stuff and you know and like i was thinking about that experience that jack in the box experience i probably wasted an hour and a half going to jack in the box and this is like the the little things that goes along you know we were driving and blah blah, blah you know instead of just like let's just go home mm -hmm. got it in the fridge you, your meal's in the fridge it's ready to go you just gotta heat it up and you know it's it's that's the convenience part so i think it's a habit thing and mm -hmm. uh you know as a parent i'm gonna do my best to develop that so i could be a good example for everybody out there um and also, like, New Year's is coming up, man. I, I know a lot of you people out there are going to renew your New Year's resolution, and we want to mm -hmm. help make sure that you stick to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is this is good, man. I feel good about this. And, you know, I, I always have since you guys, um, since we started talking. And so I really appreciate your time, man. And, you know, maybe next time we get Joey and then, you know, Coach Sloan and kind of talk yeah. about kind of go full circle with the yeah. overall thing with, with what you guys are doing. Yeah, absolutely. Cause you know, uh, you, you mentioned the piece of it, but the, you know, the college recruiting is a, a big piece uh, that we, we also, you know, knock out for you guys. You know, we know that's an issue. It was an issue, you know, for, for me uh, getting recruited. I just didn't know what to do, what, what my video should highlight video should look like who I should be emailing them, when I should be emailing them. And uh, we have that for the soccer side. That's why, I, you know, I talked to you about it. We're going to get your, your son as a stud, uh, you know, sorted out if he doesn't go pro. Um, but we do have, you know, um, we're working on uh, partnering with Austin um, to be our college recruiting for football. Um, you know, went to Bellarmine, quarterback, uh, played at Wyoming and then Vanderbilt. Um, and coached at Missouri and now is, you know, coaching quarterbacks, but he is uh, very, very good at what he does and very um, intelligent in the um, college football realm. And so, uh, you know, since we started partnering with you guys uh, and you guys are all football, 
uh, I realized, you know, maybe we, we do expand into other sports because that's the ultimate goal. It's not yeah. just soccer. It just happens to be that that's what I played and that's what who I care about most. But I care about all these kids. And so ultimately helping them all um, is is the plan. Well, well, we'll end with this. We are looking forward to having you guys on site at our seven on seven tournaments. I believe we have about 10 uh, and it's you. It's all in the Bay Area. Um, we've been doing tournaments for like the last seven years. And so we kind of know the routine of everybody. Some teams bring food, some teams don't. Some kids, they rely on the snack bar, you know, the granolas. There's fruit there sometimes. But I know for a fact people would leave campus and come back with like three bags of McDonald's or Burger King, whatever's close. So one of the things that we're going to try to inject into our operation is having you guys be on site. Uh, we're going to make it known to everybody that is, that's coming to the tournament that, hey, we're going to have some really good, healthy meal for you guys so that you can, number one, be introduced to it, taste it. You know, it's 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 available for purchase, and uh, and and educate them, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think that would be a really good step to uh, getting to know parents, getting to know trainers, okay? Because a lot of these seven on seven coaches are trainers and athletes, and a lot of them are young, you know, underclassmen. And I think we can we can make a big impact, you know, even if we help just just a handful of kids, you know, I think Absolutely. that would go a long way. So I'm excited about that, man. Me too, Al. And I appreciate everything that you're doing. And, and uh, you know, I look forward to continuing this relationship and uh, growing with you. Nice. Yeah, likewise. Uh, anything else important that we haven't talked about? I mean, I'm sure there are, but as far as this session. <laughs> yeah, we're good. It's All good. right. Appreciate it, Al. Well, I'll be in touch with our all-star stuff. And uh, thanks for making the time. Um, we're going to flash the location right there. And you guys can check it out and uh, look for more content coming out in the next few days with All Stars and Feel Good and, and all that good stuff. All right. We'll see you guys awesome. next time. Appreciate it, Al. Thank you. Boom.